All right, Andrew, thank you. It is now 6.34. Let's get a look at your national headlines. Starting with lawmakers cracking down on TikTok, the House approving a bill that would potentially lead to a ban. ABC's M1 breaks down what's in the proposal and what's next. This morning, social media users in the U.S. are left wondering if TikTok's days are numbered. The bill is passed. After the House overwhelmingly passed a bill that would force TikTok's Chinese parent company to sell the app or have it banned in the U.S. We are in a cold war with China, and some of my colleagues want to ignore this fact. Every U.S. national security agency says TikTok poses a national security threat, claiming its owner ByteDance is beholden to the Chinese government, which could demand access to the data of TikTok's 170 million American users. But critics of the bill say legitimate concerns about the Chinese Communist Party, or CCP, could set the U.S. government down a dangerous path. The answer to CCP-style propaganda is not CCP-style oppression. Let us slow down before we blunder down this very steep and slippery slope. Republican Thomas Massey you know, argued the bill to, fails to, to address the U.S.'s problems. overall reliance on China. You know, we're sitting here with phones made in China. We're wearing suits made in China. You're going to tell Americans they can't put a piece of software on their computer. TikTok says the bill violates constitutional rights of its users, many of whom earn a living running businesses on the app. And TikTok CEO has argued the company stores its American data in the U.S., not China. Experts also question the impact of a potential ban. India, the world's largest democracy, banned TikTok in 2020, but ByteDance still reportedly has access to the data of Indian citizens who use the app. And here in the U.S., other social media platforms sell users' data, potentially posing the same kind of security risk. One expert tells ABC News it's a nice symbolic bill, but it doesn't actually make us safer. M1, ABC News, Washington. President Joe Biden has said if Congress passes the bill, he'll sign it. A risky position in this election year when the president is struggling to win over younger voters. And let's look to see how our members of the House voted. Democrat Eric Sorensen voted yes. Republican Darren LaHood also voted yes. On the Iowa side, all House members are Republican and all voted yes.